You're watching Study with Sudhir and today I have for you how to write a proposal. Now, for the benefit of some students, let me clarify, this is not a proposal you make to a girl you are interested in or a boy you are interested in. This is a formal proposal that's part of your ISC English language paper, both for class 11 and class 12 and carries 10 marks. Now, how do you get those 10 marks? Okay, so... There are various aspects of proposal writing that you need to be mindful of. And before I start, I want to say one thing very clearly. I have seen many books which deal with English language. And I think you would be much better off following the Council for ICSC prescribed format as far as writing the proposal is concerned. Because different grammar books write it in different ways. And I don't think any of them is 100% correct. So in order to ensure that you do not lose out even one mark out of this 10 marks, please follow the format prescribed by the ICSC Council. Okay, so let me say that right at the outset. And that's what I am going to follow out here. I remember uh, when I was doing the... Uh, email uh, for ICSC class 9 and 10, a lot of students, almost one in every three students was asking, what about the subject? Okay, the subject is not prescribed as per the ICSC council. I'm not saying that you do not write a subject. Normally, you do write a subject in a formal letter, sorry, not in an email. But uh, in the ICSC council format, that's not mentioned. Okay, which is why I say we will go by the council format. Now, before I start proposal, what the format of the proposal, you need to know what exactly is a proposal all about. What exactly does it intend to do? Now, proposal is essentially a plan or a suggestion, what you call sujav in Hindi. And it is put up to a higher authority for approval, for consideration in order to execute a program. Okay, I repeat. A proposal is a plan or a suggestion which is put up before a higher authority in order to get their approval in order to execute a particular program. You want them to consider it that this is my proposal. Please consider it. And if you say, OK, we will go ahead with the uh, entire program. So the purpose has to be very clearly defined when it comes to proposal. Is baat par aap zaroor dhyan rakhe ki uska actual purpose kya hai. You know, what does it intend to do is something which you need to write very clearly. The second one is the problem. Now, problem does not essentially mean in a negative sense, but you are talking about this is what we are trying to address. Now, problem does not mean necessarily, you know, both dikkat hai. But for instance, um, this example that I'm going to take or, you know, uh, the, about opening up a science club at your place, at your school, you know, which is what the example given in the ICSC website is. So you're trying to inculcate scientific behavior and that is what is what you're addressing. Solution is to set up the science lab and the procedure, what all it will entail, which will come in the list of measures, which is the most important part of the proposal writing that will come in the procedure. So three P's and a S is something which you should always keep in mind during those 15 minutes that you get before you start writing your examination, please see whether you have covered all these four points. Even after you have writing, after you have finished writing, please take a look and see whether procedure, solution, problem, purpose, all those four points have been covered or not. That's very important. Okay, now let's come to the format. Now you need to write this in 150 words. So it's not too much of length because you are not writing a tome. You know, you're writing a very crisp, simple and a formal proposal for to address to a higher authority so it has to be crisp you know they may be getting 250 proposals so they don't have the time to kind of read every proposal so your proposal has to be explanatory in a crisp manner so that is what is the hallmark of a good proposal which is why the word limit has been prescribed as 150 words so please stick to the word limit the first important part is the heading Okay, so now let's take the example which has come in the council because that will give you a good idea about what exactly it needs to, you need to do. So the example that has been given is as a member of the student council at your school, you have been given the responsibility of setting up a science club. Okay, now a science club could be a bio club, a physics club or a chemistry club. 
Now write a proposal in about 150 words stating the steps that you have taken that you would take to successfully establish this particular club. Okay, so it's pretty clear and there is a lot of information which has been given in the question itself, right? So when you're writing the heading, please ensure and whatever I'm saying, please note it down. The word proposal has to be there in the heading. So in this case, it will be proposal for setting up a science club. Okay, proposal for setting up a science club. It could be a music club. It could be an arts club. It could be a sports club. It could be a dramatic society. So, but the word proposal, very important. And please write this in capital letters, all caps, so that it's loud and clear in a slightly bigger font. You can even kind of write it over or underline it even better so that it's clear and it is in capital letters. Then we come to the introduction. Now the introduction cannot say the same thing which you have written in the head diet. It should include it but expand on the heading. Okay, I hope you understood. It will carry some of the same words but it will expand on the headline. So in this case it will be to foster. Now what will be the intention of setting up a science club? obviously to inculcate a scientific temper to foster an interest in science among school students so that is the idea so in order to inculcate a scientific temper and foster interest in science among students outside the classroom okay and introduce students to the wonders of science we propose to set up the a science club in our school okay so that will be the introduction the introduction need not be very long okay just about 15 to 18 odd words or 20 words is all you need to write the introduction in so be very clear your word limit is 150 you cannot exhaust everything out here in the first three uh, points itself so you need to keep space because list of measures is what takes your maximum bulk of the words almost close to 100 words okay so you need to be careful about that about 80 to 100 words then we come to what is called the statement of purpose. Okay. Now the statement of purpose is basically also known as the objective, right? So you could, what you could also do is to, I mean, heading, you don't need to write heading, but you can write introduction and this. So you write that this is the introduction statement of purpose or objective. You write it and then write the entire statement of purpose objectives list of measures write list of measures and then write the thing so introduction statement of purpose and list of measures heading you don't need to write heading the word heading you don't need to write concluding sentence you don't need to write but these three things please write so that it's clear what you are talking about and the examiner knows okay these are this is the format which the student has followed very well now when we come to the objective or the statement of objective you need to write a science club now what does this what is the purpose of the thing of the uh, setting up the science club right a science club will help students overcome their phobia regarding science or um, remove their doubts regarding science it will help them see the practical uses of various scientific experiments right and it will also encourage scientific curiosity among students in, through its activities and programs so that is what is the brief statement of purpose again the statement of objective sorry not purpose statement of objective expands on the introduction which had in, uh, expanded on the heading so in, in as the authority is reading your proposal he or she will get a better idea of what your proposal is all about you know you are like peeling the layers of the onion right you are giving more and more information as the proposal progresses right so statement of objective will actually say that right now we come to the most important list of measures because that is what is the solution okay what it intends to do actually instead of problem i could have written objective maybe that would have been even more uh, uh, actually uh, that would be even better you know p o s p okay so uh, that's what you need to write list of measures uh, in which you need to write about four to six points okay now what can be those four to six points uh, now the i will read through this but i'll talk about what else you could have actually written about the middle school activity room so the venue so here you need to write in the procedure you need to write handle the five w's where when 
what, why, who. Okay, so you need to write all the details about what all will it entail. So the venue, which will be the venue to set up the uh, science club. The middle school activity room will be used as a room for all science club meetings and activities. So you have identified, so you, you have told the authorities that we have identified this particular room or you could say any other room, you know, class 12th A will be used, you know, as the, the classroom will be used as a science club or the uh, social activities club room will be used. You can say anything, right? Uh, the next comes, when will the science club activities be held? Meetings will be held. So the meetings will take place once a week from in school from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, and any competition that will be held will be held on Saturday. Now here is where you need to use your imagination. You know, you need to think about what all a science club will actually entail, right? So you need to think about it and write it in grammatically correct English. Okay, I'll come to the marking scheme in a bit. Then you have mentioned venue, time. Now who all can be the members of the science club? Obviously, if you're starting a club, you need to have it open to members, right? So membership of the science club will be open to all students from class 6 to class 12. It's entirely up to you. You can say class 8, 9, 10, depending on your school or whatever. And you can also give more details that the club president will be the head girl of the um, uh, school. The club secretary will be the head boy of the school or the cultural in charge or the science captain will be the president of the school. You can give those kind of details which will tell. See, basically the trick of a good proposal is to give as much relevant details as possible. Irrelevant details, nahi. relevant details as possible. And that's how you score marks, right? You can, you, in this case, they have said club membership has been fixed at 250 rupees. You can say club membership will be provided free of course. You know, no charges will be given. Entirely up to you. You know, you're giving another detail. And uh, what all will be the um, um, activities? Science fairs, robo making, click, uh, creating slogans and posters, documentaries and so on. You could uh, write things like, uh, we will invite an eminent scientist right? An eminent scientist once every month on the third Saturday of every month to come and address the members of the science club. That can be one thing. The You can say the science club will organize uh, visits to nearby science museums in the city in order to familiarize the students with the uh, activities of various museums. That can be another uh, point that you could write. So, as I said, four to six relevant points will be something very very important and uh, students and members will be encouraged to create models at home and bring them and that will be showcased uh, during our science fair which will be held uh, in the month of March 2021. I'm just giving an example. So use your imagination and come out with relevant points as far as the list of measures is concerned. List of measures you could put bullet points and write it and ensure if your handwriting especially is of a slightly bigger size give a gap so that it's clear and legible that's why don't write too much of gitch pitch kind of handwriting in gitch pitch kind of handwriting the concluding sentence the tone and tenor of the concluding sentence is very important um, if you write we are confident that this proposal will be accepted they will say acha tumko bahut confidence hai nahi chalo isko reject karte hain your tone has to be slightly differential, especially when it comes to addressing to a school authority. So let's look at what has been written here. Uh, we hope that the proposal will be accepted so that the science club becomes a reality in the school. So we are hoping, we are kind of requesting you. You could say we request you to give uh, to uh, seriously consider uh, this proposal to set up a science club at the school at the earliest, even that. So the tone has to be slightly polite. So that's something very important. Signature. Now when I say signature, you could write some, sometimes they may give you a name. Say for instance, your some name has been given, you know. Uh, for instance, Bindu Saxena, designation, uh, captain, uh, science, science captain, whatever school, you know, DAV public school. So that can be your name and designation. Head girl or head boy, whatever can be the thing. So that will be the way uh, the proposal has to be written. Now we come to the important part of how many marks do you get for what? Now 
if you for the heading and the introduction the way you write it and the way you introduce the topic you are allotted two marks for that right then the objective the statement of objective carries two marks very important how well you have been able to expand and flesh it out then the list of measures comes for four marks as i said this is the most important part which is why i say you write four to six points because sometimes some point may be found irrelevant by the examiner which is why if you have about two points extra you are in that buffer zone so for each mark each point if, if it's going to carry one mark i would suggest that you write four to six points okay so uh, this is four marks so two plus two plus four eight the two marks extra are for linguistic expression on the kind of language that you have used the kind of vocabulary you have used and the kind of relevant language that you have used in this particular proposal writing so um, uh, ensure that when you are writing the proposal do not keep repeating the same um, um, uh, words or adjectives in order to make it look like a smart proposal the proposal has to be smart please remember this so for your linguistic ability it carries another two marks now in this particular uh, one the signature and the name and designation is not mentioned but many times uh, since you always need to know who has written the thing this is something which is preferred but you could probably ask your teacher at the school whether this is something to be given the ICSC council one does not prescribe this but I would suggest that any proposal like when we suggest give a proposal and make make a presentation to any company saying that we would like to do this for your company you obviously at the end of it they would want to know who who has actually prepared this particular proposal which is why I think this particular part is also important so you need to write the signature the name and the designation is important so this is as far as the proposal writing is concerned now what are the different kinds of questions you could get as far as proposal writing is concerned for instance you are a publisher of whatever book company you write a proposal to the principal offering your services uh, so that they can update their school library now that's a very interesting one now what would you write there the he heading proposal to provide books for their school library introduction in order to kind of keep i mean um, uh, provide the students at your school with updated books uh, say of some subject uh, we pr we propose to provide you with uh, books from xyz publication statement of purpose in order to expand it further you know in order to uh, kind of uh, ensure that students are exposed to the latest books on science and history we have come out with a new uh, list of publications and that's what we intend to be we propose to provide it to your school library and then the list of measures you know this will be the cost this is by when we can provide you with all the books uh, if you are wanting to offer any kind of concession we will be offering you the books at 20 percent discount if you buy so many number of books so that can be another measure you could talk about you know what other services you could provide that if uh, any book uh, gets outdated and it is replaced within a year by something else we will replace the book with an updated or a revised version we could you could write that as a list of measure you could say that we will be willing to kind of pro we would facilitate a trip of your students the members of your library to our publish publication center in order to kind of make them aware about how the entire publication uh, industry works and how the entire publishing uh, process actually works that can be interesting a slightly hutke kind of a list of measures you basically you need to sell it to those person as to you know why it would benefit your school to actually get the books from our end for your school library so the more sops you offer the more chances that you might like you are more likely to get the uh, order from the school principal right so those those can be the list of measures and the concluding sentence pretty much the same we do hope for a positive we hope for a positive reply from your school management at the earliest and we do and we hope uh, we request you to provide us with an opportunity to uh, coordinate and work together with your school signature whatever uh, name and uh, right manager or uh, CEO XYZ publications that's the way you need to write a proposal so I do hope this has been useful the proposal writing 10 marks nobody 
nobody should lose even a single mark out of 10 as far as proposal writing is concerned thank you very much for watching